All right then, what is up guys? I'm Asgard's Champ. Welcome to episode 27 of my playthrough for Total War Three Kingdoms. Uh, I hope you guys all had an awesome Christmas if you were celebrating, and if not, just a nice break with the family. Um, so before we get into this particular episode, just want to mention uh, down in the description below, I've got my uh, links to my social media, Twitter and Instagram. If you want to give me a follow over there, that'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. So we were in a bit of a bad position by the end of the last episode. I think what had happened was, um, that has been sort of over a week since I last played, so apologise if I uh, get any of this wrong, but we had a couple of armies over here. We had Hongai and another one who kind of got separated and, and one of them got taken out, and Hongai had to retreat across the river over here, which causes me a few problems because I can't very easily fight back, and it puts this settlement here at risk. We also are at war now with the Kingdom of Shuhan, uh, and his vassals as well, his allies and so on. Lua Jun being one of them, who now is right on our border. Um, he is now sending uh, kind of a full stack over towards Sunren. So there's not much I can do in terms of moving Sunren from there. Um, then towards the kind of south, southeast, we've got um, Cheng Pu's army who is besieged here. He needs to probably fight this battle um, offensively rather than wait for the attack, uh, because we are going to start taking attrition straight away, if I remember rightly. And my allies kind of holding their own over in the uh, the east here, so we'll see how they get on. Um, but yeah, I'm an army down at the moment, so I do have funds to start building a new one. I'm going to have to wait a few more turns to uh, let the funds pile up a little bit before we start actually recruiting another army. Um, and we'll do that probably at our capital and then march them up. But yeah, a bit dicey, a uh, bit of a dicey situation at the moment. Which we need to be careful of. My allies not being particularly helpful. My vassals are not being particularly helpful either. Um, so yeah, we just need to be aware of the situation and try and make the right decisions. Um, I think before, I mean we are at the end of the turn here, but I think before we end the turn we do need to probably fight this battle here. So if you see um, Cheng Pu's army here, if I wait a turn there, I can start taking attrition, which I don't want because we're up against a full stack. Now I think we'll have a garrison here as well who are not fully replenished, they're not going to be super helpful for us, uh, but we will see, have to obviously do the best we can, uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to fight this one. So we predicted a close victory, um, I think we will fight the larger battle, we have uh, our garrison as well to, to uh, command to, I think I'll throw them out in front, you know, just to tie up units and so on, not too bothered if they uh, die or, you know, take casualties, I'd rather my main force be protected we outnumber them and um, they do have strong troop well fairly strong troops so need to be careful uh, they've not got too much in the way of skirmishes maybe about three units so that's not too bad I think we've got some cav who we can deal with them anyway uh, we'll get straight into it and I'll, I'll see you guys on the battlefield for this one all right and so being the attackers here I need to um, well I'm not sure if I should wait for my reinforcements probably should and then march them all up together will take a little bit longer, but um, probably worth having the extra numbers there. Now we are marching downhill, which is good. It's good for us if we charge them. Uh, if they Well, if they stay where they are and we charge down the hill at them, puts us at an advantage. Hopefully they don't uh, move up to charge me, because probably would like to wait for my reinforcements to get involved. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too many of them just from looking like this, but there are trees where they're probably hiding people. So I need to be aware of that as well. Um, but yeah, I'll get the men set up. I'm thinking I'm going to set them up back here so we can wait for our reinforcements. And uh, then I'll be back with you in, in a second. Alright then guys, so what I've done is I've set the men up just as far back as I thought necessary. Uh, just to wait for the reinforcements and then we'll, we'll bring them all up as well. Uh, get them sort of probably in the front, like in front of all these troops uh, in the front line. We'll see though, but again, usual tactics, shielded units up in the front. Um, apart from these halberdiers here on the right flank, I can't see their cav, which makes me think they're on the left flank, but could be wrong about that, I'm not sure. So what I've done is I've put my uh, nice strong defenders of the empire, uh, their speared, shielded spear units on the left flank with uh, halberdiers to support in the rear, and then on the right hand flank I'm going to keep my cav. Now the reason I've kept the cav all the way up here is because it keeps sight on the enemy. When I had them deployed all the way back here, I couldn't see what they were doing. So I need to make sure I'm aware if they're sort of charging up to me or not because if they are I need to move my forces forward a bit quicker um, 
just so I keep that hill advantage. But if they stay where they are, then that's fine. I can leave everyone where they are until my reinforcements get here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the battle. I'll wait for my reinforcements. I'll get them all nestled up into the front lines, wherever they, wherever they need to go. And then I'll start marching down towards them, and I'll be back with you once we... Um, well, once the guys start fighting, I guess. Um, if that happens earlier than my reinforcements get here, for example, if these guys charge up to me, uh, then I'll be back with you a bit sooner. Uh, but that's the plan so far. So I'll see you guys in but a second. Alright guys, so already um, I have noticed that I think because my guys are all the way back here and they've kind of crested this hill, they can't see where I am, so they've sent troops forward. And it looks like they're all kind of marching up towards me. Um, so I've sent my units to kind of take this position here and the reinforcements can come in as and when they do and we'll use them to uh, to bolster the lines and, and whatnot. But I'm actually going to leave my cav where they are because they're in a good position there to maybe flank their cav and so on. They're sending theirs up uh, quite ahead of their main force here so I might be able to sneak in some charges against them. Depends who gets seen and when. I think my main force has now been spotted so they're heading back by the looks of it. So yeah, they are. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, reinforcements, we will bring all these guys up as quickly as possible. And they can kind of help out as of when they are needed. In fact, I'm going to bring them over to the left here. Just so that they uh, can potentially flank the enemy. I will just make them walk. I don't want to have them wasting their energy. Um, and I guess in the meantime, what we'll do is wait for these guys to attack. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll cut this bit out, but I'll be back with you once some action kicks off. Alright guys, so just looking at this, they have all of them. We're moving around to the left hand, uh, left hand side. So I'm going to move these spear units over just to kind of counteract them. They may well be going for my reinforcements. Not sure. Uh, but we just need to, I guess, keep an eye on that situation. My cav is still hidden, which is good. Because as soon as these guys start to split up, um, I will send them after their skirmishes. Our guys are shooting away, which is fine. That's what we want them to do. It does look like their cav are trying to get right around me, which obviously I'm going to try not to let them do. I've got quite a few halberdiers in the reinforcements as well, which is good because that means they may well, be able, may well be able to help out with this. Um, but it looks like they have been spotted as well, so yeah, need to be careful. Alright, let's try and pick off this one unit here. They're sending more. Let's now actually send my cabin to take out their skirmishes. I'm going to let the front line kind of hold. I'm going to bring these guys around to the right though. And as soon as my cavalry can, I'm going to get them... Uh, ...charging into the backs of these guys once they've dealt with this. In fact, I might actually send one unit in now. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's keep them together. So we've got men running here. Uh, that's not good. Reinforcements, get running, please, now. And set up here. Uh, it looks like my spears didn't really hold the line on the left-hand flank, which is not good. Let's get my generals involved as well. I'm forgetting to do that. And let's send some of these guys charging in. Uh, we've got my cav doing their thing in the back. Now let's send them in to smash some of these guys in the back as well. probably where they're needed the most because my troops are faltering a little bit yeah we've got too many guys running here now these guys are doing well uh, let me just pick out all the spears from here and get them charging in in there and let's get the cav uh, sorry the archers set up separately we need to deal with this bunch of cavalry on the left hand flank really um, okay we have routed a few of their units now in the center which is great and we're going to try and do the same thing now we'll leave the rest of them with my cavalry on the left hand flank if we can do that that will be ideal let's send these guys in as well yeah we've uh, got them on the ropes here actually on the right hand flank which is good it's this left hand flank which is not looking ideal. Uh, that's okay. I think we're pulling it, pulling it back a little bit with these reinforcements. They've got quite a lot of generals though that I need to deal with. Um, 
maybe even send Gunning and these other two all together and just leave my cavalry to do their own thing. Nice, yep, yeah, got a nice charge on those guys there. I think they're going to run. Perfect. Now, the rest of my generals, let's get over here and help out. And I guess similar thing with the rest of my cav as well. Um, yeah, they need to take out this bunch of uh, skirmishers here, and then they can move on to help out over here. I think one good charge with everybody should be enough. Right, those skirmishers are now running, so let's get them charging into these yellow dragons, because I know they're a tough unit. But if we get a nice flanking charge or rear charge onto them, uh, that should hurt them quite a lot, I think. Nice, yep, did quite a lot of damage to them there. Probably took about 25% of their, their unit. That should hopefully see them running very soon. Everyone else looks to be running now as well. Where are their generals? I think they've all run already. Is it just these guys left? Actually, there's one more general here, although she's also running now as well. Don't actually see what they have left. Nobody. Nice. Right, that was a bit dicey, that one. I thought we were going to lose initially uh, on, that, on their initial charge, but we managed to pull it back. I think our reinforcements helped out a lot, and the cavalry charging into the back of their front line. Uh, but that's good. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just doing the usual mopping up of troops, and then I will be back with you uh, on the campaign map shortly. Awesome. That's actually a big, uh, a big help for us. Um, taking those guys out. Now we will try and finish them off completely as well when we get a chance, probably on the next turn. Or maybe on this turn, actually, let's see. Uh, okay, so we captured uh, Liu He. He's level 4. If we execute him, we get Tunic of Divination. It's not bad. Yeah, let's do it. They serve no purpose for us. Don't gain anything from killing her. So let's release her. Let the captives go. We get a clay pig for her. Now let's just release her as well, I think. It would be unjust to punish them. For Take the replenishment. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. Now let's see, can we chase these guys down and, and finish them off? Bring I hope so. We can, so we'll delegate this one. That should hopefully be all of them dead. We won with yep, integrity. nice. Now let us celebrate with a little bit more money, probably some more heroism, I would imagine. Yep. And we can take a bit more replenishment as well. Uh, let's get these guys back into the settlement for a bit more replenishment. Yeah, they're a bit hurt. Uh, hopefully they'll, you know, over time they'll uh, they'll heal up. But that's good. Freeze up this this right hand, this right hand side now um, of kind of our border uh, for us to hopefully. I want I want to take more settlements from from South South. Um, my idea, my plan at the moment, because the kingdom of Shuhan have attacked us. I've gone to war with us, should I say. They're going to pose a big problem, and I'm not really at the moment kind of equipped for it, so I want to make peace with Cao as quickly as I can. Now, it doesn't look like he's doing too well at the moment, so that might not be a crazy idea. I might be able to get peace with him. Um, we will see, though. We will see. Because I know he's got quite a lot of like vassals and that kind of thing, but we definitely need to be focusing on our stronger, stronger enemies, which at the moment I think is the Kingdom of Shuhan. Now we gained some ancillaries there. Lifted the siege. Which is all good. Uh, we also have a siege here. I can't remember if this needs fighting. Um, okay, it's not too much of a clear victory. I think we need some more siege equipment. And maybe we'll have to fight that one on the battlefield as well. I think, yeah, the numbers are fairly even, that's why. We have a lot of cav, which are not going to really help in this engagement unless we can get the gate open. Uh, so we'll continue for now. Alright. I don't think there's much else to do this turn. Let's have a look. So I think Hong Gai... Yeah, I'm not too sure what to do with Hong Gai. Thinking maybe pop him in here and get him into an ambush stance. And hopefully we can, you know, if we can lower one of these armies in. What I don't want to happen is both of these guys to come together. If I'd have moved him across the river here... He'd have only been able to move just across the river, and both of these guys would have been able to come in and attack him, which I would have lost, no doubt. 
by keeping him on this side of the river, it forces them to... Now, they can probably both attack me, but if I got them in ambush stance like this, they'll either go straight past and maybe go for this settlement and keep separated, allowing me to attack them. Or we'll, or we'll catch them in an ambush, maybe. We'll see. Similarly with Sunren, she needs to kind of step up because we've got this big armor here. Uh, we need to win against them. Obey Guessing we'll have a garrison here as well, but it's not massive and they're pretty hurt. So yeah, we need to uh, watch out for that. As soon as Zhang Hong's free as well, I think I might send him up to help uh, Sunren. And then as well, we can probably afford to recruit another army at some point. Uh, but with all that, let's end the turn and see what uh, Southside does next, I guess. Alright then, so, got a few bits of diplomacy here. Kingdom of Song. Sorry, I think it's the Kingdom of Song that we're, that we're at war with, not the Kingdom of Shuhan. Sorry. That's my mistake. Anyway, they're calling people to war. Yeah, Kingdom of Shuhan we're actually quite friendly with, I believe. More wars declared, and so on. That's fine. I'll give a quick recap of South South's movements in a second. Um, none of that concerns us. We've got a large town in Kaolin. Now, I think here, were we trying to build a school? I think so, if I remember correctly, but we need a small city for that, so we actually probably want to upgrade that again. We've got the funds, you know, I'm just going to go for it. And then we should have two building slots we can uh, start to build up Galing a little bit. Um, what else have we got? Character development's one person of merit. That's all good. All right, so in terms of South South, then, what happened was he started moving in from this side here with some big stacks. So I need to be careful of that. Obviously, my ally, extremely unhelpful, as always. I'm wondering what I should do in terms of Cheng Pu's army, because at the moment he's kind of on his own here. He can fend off maybe one army at a time, but two, three or four, definitely not. So I might have to bring Zhang Hong down once I've taken this settlement. Maybe. We'll obviously keep an eye on what these guys do over the next few turns and uh, react accordingly. Over here as well, I think uh, putting these guys in ambush stands meant Sasa couldn't see them, and they have actually split their forces up a little bit, which is good for us. That means I can probably quite safely move myself across the river now. Let's see. Can I actually do that? Well, I can move them just across. But I don't think these guys will be able to reach me in one turn. These guys might, but I can, fight, I can fend them off one at a time. So I am going to move these guys across the river over here. And... Actually, they can't move any further, so they'll have to stay there. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll see what we can do next turn. Also, the uh, I believe it was the armies of Lujun moved off somewhere else. I think, it, I think they took this settlement here. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I think that's what happened. So Sunren has kind of become a little bit more free. I was thinking potentially move her down into this settlement here, uh, which would mean... Where's the garrison? Yeah, just bolster this garrison a little bit. Stops this army from just taking that settlement, which they could easily do in the next turn. So we shall do that too. Now, in Runan, I was thinking I need to probably build up the garrison a little bit, so I'm going to look at how I can do that. Um, I'm not too sure at the moment, so I'll have, to, I'll have to see. I might have to remove some buildings and then put some new ones up and so on. Right then, we do want to start building a new army as soon as we can as well, but my funds are not looking too good for that at the moment. We have just invested in some infrastructure stuff, which obviously takes a bit of money. Uh, that's fine though, you know, needed to be done as well. So, I think with Cheng Pu, I can leave him here probably for one more turn before I have to move him. I'd like to keep him with Yan Bahu, just so they're together. Um, but I also... Don't want to get Cheng Pu isolated, because that won't be good. Let's see what this battle looks like at the moment. So again, we're predicted a victory. I'm wondering how many more turns we should wait, really, for this now. I think one more turn, and then we'll, we'll go in. We need, we need the siege equipment, really. Um, I believe infantry can c scale walls themselves anyway. Uh, they don't need the siege towers and stuff. I think with the siege towers they just take less casualties on the way in. However, um, just looking at this, 
the supplies have been depleted, so now the garrison is going to start taking attrition. So yeah, maybe if we wait one or two more turns, uh, it'll make things a bit easier for us. We might even be able to delegate it. Uh, but we'll see. We'll continue the siege for now. I don't think South South's got enough forces close enough to be able to relieve them before I can take it. So that's good. Um, and then, yeah, we can hopefully bring these two armies to meet up together at some point. But yeah, I think that's I think that's everything for this turn. Let's uh, let's get into the next one. All right, then. What's actually ended up happening is uh, the garrison have decided to attack me, so I can defend against them. I think this should go fairly well for me. They've got fairly strong units; like they're all medium, medium armor. Um, anyway, I'll see you probably on the battlefield for this one. All right, then, guys. So pretty flat land here. I guess we're kind of at the top of a very small hill. Um, well, hardly, but anyway, we'll set the troops up here and uh, be back with you once I've done that. Alright then, so yeah, pretty typical formation, shields all up in the front, spears on the flanks, got a couple of units of infantry uh, just behind the front line so they can circle around and flank. Uh, I've only got a couple of units of archers in this army, which I wasn't aware of, thought I had more, but there you go. Uh, but they've both set up to behind the front line, uh, generals up in the front as well from a strategist who's hanging back and I've got all my cav um, stuck here in these trees they're hidden so they can loop around um, when necessary take out their skirmishes and all that so we'll start the battle and um, probably take them a few minutes to get to us and wow look at that they've got a lot of skirmishes and a lot of cav so I'm gonna have to use my cavalry quite wisely here probably go for their cav first and then the skirmishes maybe but those skirmishes are gonna do some damage luckily they're um, melee troops don't offer up much of a, uh, a challenge, I don't think. We've got plenty of infantry to counter them, so that's fine. But anyway, I'll see you when uh, the action commences. Alright, so I'm back with you now because my crossbowman here should be able to start shooting. Any second. Any second. There we go, okay. So they're going to start shooting at their skirmishes now. I'm going to actually bring my cavalry around and try bait their cavalry into an attack against me. Um, which is what I want them to do, although they're actually sending some spearmen as well. It's not too good. Um, okay, looks like they've stopped. But yeah, we need to try to take out their cav and then their skirmishes as best we can. Because their skirmishes are definitely going to do some damage to us. Hopefully we can bring up a couple of units of our cav here to counter this this one here. Because um, otherwise they'll charge my cav in the back or the side or whatever, which is not good. I actually want to probably direct my skirmishes to shoot at their skirmishes. My cav can deal with this. Already routed two of them. I think they only had three in total, so if we get this one as well, that's it, they're done. Do have some spears here, which are not good. Um, let's actually retreat. Definitely don't want those spearmen to attack my... Uh, attack my cav. Let's just pull my skirmishers back here as well. Don't know what they're playing at. Being stupid. And I also don't want my cav to run. One of them's wavering already, which is not good. I think we'll just pop them in the trees over here, see if we can get them hidden again, and then swing round to go for their skirmishes. We definitely need to go for them as soon as possible. And let's start getting these guys all charged in, as and when they are needed. Okay, we've got someone running, not sure who. But I think for the most part we're doing it all right. Um, their cavalry went and chased mine, so we'll take them out and move on to their skirmishes. I think we should be fine here. Like I said before, their melee troops don't offer much of a problem. It's really their skirmishes which are going to be an issue here. Uh, but now that my cav are free, let's get them to deal with that. Charge these guys in the flank. Let's get generals involved as well. Just for that extra bit of damage. Now, we need to start taking these guys out. 
troops and one unit after each of them. Then we can chase them all at the same time. And I think one unit of cav on each of them is perfect, so it's definitely enough. So actually stop my skirmishers from shooting now. Don't want them to take out any of my cav. Yeah, their skirmishers have uh, been dealt with now as well, which is perfect. I think this one's in the bag now, guys. Let's just make sure my cavalry actually can't be in by these uh, arches here, which is a bit daft, but there you go. Happens sometimes. I know some of those cav units that I had were weak when we started the fight, as in, you know, they'd taken some damage previously or whatever. Anyway, we've dealt with them. Uh, it's just these last few guys here now, who we can surround and probably take out comfortably, I would imagine. There we go, they're running now. I think that's it. There we go. Awesome. And um, there's no need for us to uh, take it, uh, take as many men as possible because it's a settlement battle, so they should all die. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. A quick wit dodges the hardest nice throw. money and uh, heroism, as usual. And we also get the... Actually, I don't know if we take the settlement... Because they attacked us, we might have to attack them again on the next turn, but we'll see. Either way, I'm going to take the recruitment here. Alright then, so we've ended this one in a bit of a better position than we started, I think. We managed to fend off this... Uh, well, we were besieged here, we managed to fend them off. We've got uh, Yan Bahu, I think he took out an army over here, which is good. Uh, there's two more. So we can probably go help out with that as best we can. Uh, Chimpu's freed up. We just won this one. Let's actually just take this settlement real quick. We'll delegate this one. They lacked a coherent strategy. We'll get some money in heroism as usual, and uh, let's occupy it, and then we can start replenishing. And what I'm thinking is we might want to move Chengpu up so they're together. It does mean this is undefended, but I think. The fact that these two armies will be together kind of outweighs that that uh, penalty. And we've got Yan Bai Hu kind of doing something over here. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to fend off both of these armies, so he's going to fall pretty quick. But let's uh, let's wait and see. I think keeping these two together though is probably the smart move, especially while this army is weak and replenishing. In fact, they both need to replenish, so keeping them together over there is probably a smart move. We might just have to sacrifice this settlement. Uh, South Star then still kept this army here, and uh, this one actually retreated back. So I'm not too sure what to do with them. I think I might send Hongai after them. Let's pop him into the settlement here, real quick. And with Sun Ren, well, she can easily get to uh, Runan within a turn, so I'm, I'm fine keeping her where she is for now, just to ward off this army here. Um, but yeah, these two are now together, and we've got enough money to build another army. We'll probably do that in the next turn. Let's just have a look at these. Character developments, relationships lost, that's fine. Friends, friends, okay, that's cool. That's all good. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this turn again, to be honest. There's not much else we can do other than build a new army. But what I'm going to do is, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you've got any tips or feedback for me, uh, drop those down in the comments below. And if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. So with all that all said, I'll see you guys on the next one.